match the winner. And she will go home with a car, a crown, the cash, and everything else that comes with being Ghana's most beautiful queen. We know that this person that will be chosen today will be a worthy queen for TV3 and for Ghana's most beautiful. Six ladies from Ashanti region, Safwa, Volta region, Seto, Bono region, Infojo, Upper East region, Wedaga, Oti region, Akosuya, and Western region, Manu, will be competing tonight for the crown. Which one of them, in your view, will be the winner? We'll know at the end of tonight. We're very grateful to our audience for sticking with us throughout these three months that we brought you exciting editions of Ghana's Most Beautiful every Sunday night. You engage with us on our social platforms, you watch our shows on tele television, and we are very, very grateful to you. But most importantly also, we're grateful to our commercial partners, our clients, our sponsors, our advertisers, whose money uh, helped us to be able to produce this very expensive uh, production. Um, but we're very grateful to them for supporting us throughout the year from when we started Ghana's Most Beautiful 15 years ago and even supporting us even now. We're very thankful to all our old and new sponsors. And we assure you that we'll continue to give you the best for the money that you put on our productions. As we go into the exciting show tonight, we're very electrifying performances from Adina, from Abiana, from Sinaso, and from Sefa and also very great performances from DJ Faculty and all the cultural performances that will happen tonight. We are very sure that you enjoy tonight's show. And we're very certain that the most deserving lady will emerge winner of Ghana's Most Beautiful tonight. Stay tuned and enjoy the show.
gentlemen, my name is Sabiana and you're welcome to the finale of Ghana's Most Beautiful. Him abroad and give me a soul. I'm on my knees and I'm standing all alone. They try to kill him or shine, they're giving me pressure. I'm on my knees and I'm standing all alone. See, they try to kill him or shine, no. They try to measure my mind, no. Oh, God bless us, I say, no one shall not curse. Not a word I trust, no. Your mouth I feel like so. You can stop my shine, I will shine so bright. If they throw me fire, I go throw them fire, I burn them. If they won't bury me, I go crawl like seeds, so dumb them. If they throw me fire, I go throw them fire, I burn them. If they won't bury me, I go crawl like seeds, so dumb them. Oh, yeah, me say. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Oh, amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. And that was a wonderful performance. Another round of applause for Abiana. All right. And so tiaras, smiles, and gowns are the uniforms of a pageant winner. But so is confidence, philanthropy, and determination. If you are a beauty queen, it is very, very glamorous. But at the end of the day, if you are unable to make a lasting impression in the minds of people, then you will be forgotten very, very fast. Tonight, our ladies have been taxed in this round to showcase and demonstrate how they can contribute their quota to their communities and the nation at large. And also tonight, there is a twist. You at home, you have 40% and our judges have 60% of the entire vote tally. Do not think that because you have 40%, it means your vote cannot make a difference. Keep voting for your favorite. And so let's welcome, with a round of applause, our first contestant for this round, Menu from the Western Region. Ghana for my family, the Commissioner General of GRE, the Deputy Commissioner LTU, the Assistant Deputy Commissioner Dr. Martin Yamborija, Mr. Chris, Mr. Hazel, Mr. Austin, in fact, all the staff of the Large Taxpayer Office of Ghana Revenue Authority, and my fans out there, thank you all so, so much for your support so far. We've only been able to come this far by God's grace and your support. So please keep supporting. I, Menu, have your safety at heart. And so tonight, I stand to create awareness on how to prevent or even defend yourself when you face certain security threats. Please help me win the ultimate crown by dialing star 713 star 13 hash on all networks. Or you can download the TV3 Reality app on Google Play Store or the App Store to vote for me. My name is Menu, M-A-N-G. Thank you. Menu is clothed by Eliza Fashion with hair by Best and More Limited. Ladies well groomed by African American Beauty Academy. Inspiring beauty beyond borders. Accessories by Magdal Kutu. To live our lives in fear why do we always have to wake up feeling insecure because we stand at risk of getting robbed raped or even murdered why can't your children enjoy their freedom and anytime they are out you may as well be hit by hypertension because you can't seem to keep a cool head of their whereabouts Kidnapping is rampant while robbery has become the order of the day. I can't imagine how the families of the Takwade missing girls feel. All the psychological trauma the woman who was kidnapped at about seven must have gone through. What about the woman who was robbed on the Achimota Highway on her way from the bank in broad daylight? 
and several others being murdered in cold blood at the least resistance. Have you wondered why a 53-year-old man would rape his own stepdaughter and niece? Yes, this issue happened in Kaswa, and the matter was settled amicably without applying any laws. This man even grew enough wings to rape his 13-year-old biological daughter. What is happening? I could freeze at your body. I could be the next victim. You could be the next victim. The annual crime statistics of the annual of the police states that in 2020, there were 342 overall unique cases of crimes like robbery, kidnapping, and rape, of which women and children suffered the most. What are we as civilians doing to curb this menace? Are we only looking up to the security agencies for a resolve? It is true that the Ghana Police Service was constitutionally established to maintain law and order. Chapter 15, Article 200, Clause 3 of the 1992 Constitution clearly states the roles of the police, which include detection and prevention of crime, apprehension and prosecution of offenders, and ensuring the safety of individuals and property. Notwithstanding, the police cannot be everywhere with us, in our homes or our workplaces. And that is why there is a need for us to practice personal security, so that we can be safe on the streets, safe in our homes, safe everywhere we go. Like these, there are ways by which we cannot defend ourselves. And then, Call out to the police. This is a clear way by which you can defend yourself when you are attacked from behind. If we as a people understand that safety does not happen by accident, then we can make deliberate efforts to ensure our safety. This is also a way that you can defend yourself when you are attacked from the side. People say that you can never be too careful in life. Well, I beg to differ. We can avoid those threats against our security if we are given the right safety education. I am taking over nationwide in alliance with the Ghana Police Service, beginning from my region to teach people how they can stay safe. I would embark on school tours to conscientize our kids on how they can stay safe. I would also form community cadets where our women and children who usually fall victims to these will be taught some safety tips and trained on how they can defend themselves should the unfortunate happen. I'm also going to embark on a media soiree to educate the entire national populace. I, Menu, have noticed this very phenomenon. I want to teach you, you, and you to be your own police. Be your own police so that our streets can be safe again. generation and the most vulnerable against security threats. We say enough is enough. All we seek is awareness creation against security threats. We stand with Menu. Remember that the Ghana Police Service is very competent, visible, and accessible to us. But they cannot be everywhere with us. And so we must learn to be our own police.
His Excellency Nanado Dankwayoku Fuado, Commander in Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. Dr. Ekufu Dampere, the acting IGP, and the entire police force. I salute you and I thank you so much for your immense support so far. Taking up a security project may not be an easy task and may cost me a lot, but I stand to change the narrative of a beauty queen. Remember, you are secured with many. Thank you. Menu representing the Western region. Wow. <laughs> Janet, you are clapping and giving her a thumbs up. What are your thoughts on her performance? I'm so proud of you. When you started, your eloquence, your passion, and Menu, I know you're daring because that's what you said. And you know, immediately you picked your instrument. I knew you were going to bring it. Today, Menu, you rose to the highest expression of yourself. Well done. I see some tears in your eyes. These are tears of joy. Menu, Whatever happens tonight, you are a winner. Whatever happens tonight. Well done, girl. Well done coming from Janet. Auntie Linda, what are your thoughts as well? Manu, good presentation. Um, I was looking to hear stakeholders. You mentioned schools. I was looking to hear partners. You mentioned Ghana police. Initially, when I heard your topic, I thought it should be a subset of security in general. But tonight, you have told us that it is security in general. Awareness creation against security threats. Excellent presentation. I Excellent go. presentation coming from Auntie Linda. Voting lines are still open. And if Menu is your favorite, the short code is star 713, star 13 hash across all networks. Menu, you can go backstage. All right, ladies and gentlemen, from the Western region, we're moving to the OT region. With a round of applause, let's welcome Akosia. Hello, Ghana. Oti Mantin for the Ghana Adishima. I'm Akosia and you may meet Shiamu. I am so excited to talk to you tonight about my project, which is a mentorship intervention program aimed at enhancing female advancement in education and preventing teenage pregnancy in my region and hopefully Ghana at large. Let me say a big, big thank you to you out there for voting for me, for cheering me on, supporting me and pushing me this far. Akosia is so grateful. Obadie in Shramupi. Asida Kesi Kesi Enkoma, the Oti Regional House of Chiefs. Nana Impravese Muna the fourth, and then Nana Okofro Boba for Asante, President and Vice President of the Oti Regional House of Chiefs, respectively. Me bo modi ana na na no me stress. Mo ma masi da endu the whole Oti Regional House of Chiefs. So Oti Regional hima for Nana Safo Arewa, me ame ma hima ra ra ma hima. Nana Otubia of Inkonya and President of the Queen Mothers Association of Oti Region. Nana Ousu Afari in Koswahine of Rara, Dr. Steven Nyakun, Nana Abankwa Benjamin Da, Konkonti Hine of Okania Se, Midamu Nina Ase, Honorable Kofi Adams, Honorable Kwajonyan Ponabwaje, Mi Ami Minister, Honorable Joshua Mayena Makubu, Edini Diebebe, Mufan Cheme Simambo Mudina. Mr. Obwadi, your own Shiramu, Akosia is so grateful. Now, Ms. Sre, you do grand finale. Tonight is the night. I promise you my 110%. And to Ms. Sre, please keep voting. Tonight, the end for your last thing, Gusu. Dial star 713, star 13 hash, and follow the prompt or simply download the TVP reality app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Obwadi, your own Shiramu. If you're Akosia, say, me, Damwasi. Akosia's clothes by Sam Collections with hair by Best and More Limited. Ladies well groomed by African American Beauty Academy. Inspiring beauty beyond borders. Accessories by Magdal Kutu. No, 
way. Masa. Wow, it's been a long time. You look good. And that's a beautiful baby you have behind you. I'm very well yourself. How is life? Mm-hmm. No work, no money to fend for my kids and myself. Have you been able to go back to school? But look at you. Trust hey. me, I understand your plight. But you know what? The only difference between you and I is the fact that I got positive mentors to guide me on my journey in life. Hey. I wish I had mentors to also guide me through my path. Your journey would have definitely been different. But it's never too late. You can always get yourself some mentors to guide you. Wow. Would you be open if I connected you I to one? Very much Great. appreciate that. <laughs> So that is my friend, Mansa. She dropped out of school due to teenage pregnancy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In 2007, when I moved back to Rara and joined the Anglican Primary School in Class 6, I learned that the girls' prefect had dropped out of school due to teenage pregnancy. The students spoke very fondly of her because she was a very brilliant student. We visited her a number of times and tried to encourage her to join us back in school, but to no avail. A year later in JHS 1, I was privileged to be selected together with three other students to represent our school in an HIV AIDS peer education workshop where we learned a lot about reproductive health, leadership, and for the very first time, we learned that pregnant girls are allowed to enroll in school per the re-entry policy of the Ghana Education Service. After the workshop, we were then charged as peer education facilitators to lead peer group discussions and other activities with our peers. It was my first experience of formal leadership. And ever since then, I have never been afraid to take up space. I also learned a lot about my sexuality, and so it helped me to make informed choices over the years. I also developed a sense of responsibility to impart into others what I am privileged to learn. And so here I am, over 10 years later, on Ghana's most beautiful platform, seeking to give to others the same opportunities which I was privileged to enjoy early on. I never stopped wondering. I never stopped wondering how different Master's kids would have been if we knew what we knew at the time and used that information to encourage her to join us back in school. So that is how the Becoming Mentoring Project was birthed. It is a mentoring intervention project aimed at reducing teenage pregnancy and ensuring the advancement of females in education and leadership. Ghana needs to see more women on decision-making tables. Per data from the Ghana Health Service, 110,000 teen pregnancies were recorded in the year 2020 in Ghana. Oti region recorded 3,970 pregnancies. 2021 has not ended yet, but we have already recorded 2,709 pregnancies in my region. Isn't this alarming? But the saddest aspect is that over 95% of these girls who get pregnant drop out of school due to family rejection and stigmatization. And so this year alone, over 2,500 girls are likely to have dropped out in my region. So what is the relevance of mentoring and how is it going to help? I'll start by telling you who a mentor is. A mentor is someone who can support and guide you. A mentor acts as an advisor or a coach to a less experienced person known as a mentee or a protege. Good mentors are able to share their life experiences, wisdom, and technical expertise with their mentees. The Becoming Project seems to provide a safe space where young girls can connect with each other while learning from more experienced adults. It will help the girls see and realize that, indeed, the future is a possibility. The program will cover three main areas, education and career development, reproductive and sexual health, leadership and personal development. We'll cover topics such as soft skills, presentation, leadership, sexual behavior, amongst others. The program would, con would constitute biannual workshops whereby girls will go through fun, educative, and interactive workshops in these three areas. Now, the girls having been empowered will then be given the necessary tools and materials required to go back to their communities and serve as peer mentors. An empowered woman, they say, empowers others. 
The Becoming Appen website would also provide an avenue where girls can log on to, share their experiences in confidence, get information, and be paired with compatible mentors. The program would also provide access for teen mothers to be reintegrated back into society. The expected outcomes of this program are improved academic achievement, improved social behavior, enhanced sense of responsibility, leadership, reduced cases of teenage pregnancies amongst others. And you are be can vision the idea soon. Now, so of course, you any TV three are holding quite intimate. But thanks to institutions such as the UNFPA, the Rebecca Foundation, the Ghana Health Service Safety Net Program, the Girls Education Unit of the Ghana Education Service, we are sure that we can bring this to fruition. We would also be reaching out to corporate Ghana, government institutions, family and friends. And in a few months' time, so what is koko koko ewa upona nwa ne eya kusia na eshwe mose mufa mahua di musika munimdi embrambetai the becoming project eshwe so that together we can empower the next generation of young girls and create a new narrative. In conclusion, let me challenge every woman out there, especially those who have shattered glass ceilings and made it to the top, to take it upon yourself to empower at least one young lady and mentor her so that we will create a new narrative. The narrative that women are our own enemies and that when a woman makes it to the top, she does not want to see others with her is a cliche. On that note, let me say a big thank you to the likes of Louisa Afrane Okese, Irabna Braye, Joanna Dakwa, Miriam Kabute, Miss Mosso, amongst others, who have played a very important role in my life. I say to you that I am very grateful and will surely pay it forward. To my fellow young ladies, we will surely meet at the very top. Thank you. Akotia representing the Oti region. Now let me move to our judges and find out what their thoughts are on Akosia's presentation. Jibodi, what are your thoughts? Okay, Akosia. Intelligence as work, at work as usual. You eloquently presented um, your um, concept and you made women proud. Well done. Thank you. And then Auntie Linda. Akosia. Auntie Linda. All right. I think you did a good presentation. You gave the scope of your project. You gave your partners. You even mentioned about finance. But, you know, in these days, people's attention span are very short. So, although you gave a lot of information, I'm sure people tuned off at some point. You know, so you could have packaged it in another way. That would have been more exciting and we would have still gotten the message. You understand? But well done. Thank you. Thank you. Well done coming from Auntie Linda. And if Akosia is your favorite and you wanted to win the crown tonight, the short code is star 713, star 13 hash across all networks. And you can also download the TV3 Reality app on the Google Play Store and the App Store and vote. Now we're moving to the Upper East region. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Wedaga. <laughs> Pangaye, pangaye, so ka so pangala, so ka so pangaye, pangabenaye, 